Hey guys, it's me Edgar here to do my review of Spawn issue 40 and I wanted to do it because I haven't done uh, Spawn reviews in quite some time at this recording and I thought it would be cool if we talked about this specific issue. Granted, I'll just say this, it's just a little bit of filler, um, but hey, it is what it is. So the comic book opens up where we see Spawn pretty much just seeing a group of people and he scares the hippie jibbies and they want to talk to Spawn in a way but he pretty much scares them so much where he, they run away like a fucking bitches that they are and he thinks back to where his life and everything between on that crap and pretty much you know you have a narration of him and you also see him using his powers to an extent we also see a couple of people that look very familiar that I could basically see these guys from uh, the darkness, aka the darkness from Witchblade, and they're trying to get Spawn. They're successful by doing it, and they take him away, and pretty much after that whole thing goes on, we go to where... A kid's fucking around and pretty much bumps into one of a police car. He runs away, and after that is pretty much going on. A group of hunters or something like that are hunting, and they're looking around to find what they're looking for, and they ultimately bump into Grumpy himself, the gorilla, fucking hell. Oh, God, when I love that, I'm like, ah, oh, yes, hell yeah. Fuck yeah, he's absolutely gonna kick some ass, take some names, and fuck yeah, I, I love him, I love him. And uh, when he's literally terrorizing the fucking hunters and pretty much uh, runs away, the cop car absolutely flies like a fucking bat out of hell and pretty much uh, the kid was saved by the gorilla himself and we go back to where Spawn is at and he's pretty much all juiced up and all experimental and yeah um, <laughs> it's a little crazy a little cool at the same time and ends on a note where He's pretty much being experimented on by this fucking scientist fucking weirdo villain. And after that, that basically ends the comic right there. So, uh, my whole thoughts is, it's an 8 out of 10. Good book. Good stuff. Definitely going to do the next issue. And I'll see you guys next time on the next review. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Tell me your thoughts down below. And uh, stay tuned for more content.